welcome to Cooking Class 101 with myself, Chef Taz. Do you like it? <laughs> My family and friends are going to be watching this like, what are you doing? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, today I'm going to be making the mixture of kebabs. Um, this is a bit of meat that I defrosted earlier on. Doesn't look great, I know it looks a bit weird. So I'm actually going to make the mixture today. I'm going to cook it tomorrow. I want to let the flavours set in. So that's why I'm actually making it a good few hours beforehand. So what I have for this amount of meat, I have one medium onion. I unfortunately do not have a grinder, so I'm going to have to do it old school. And grate it. That's what I'm going to do. Because you need finely chopped onions in there. Um, I've also got my spices here as well, let me just show you. I've got salt, garam masala, I've got a bit of coriander and chilli. Um, I'm not going to put too much in it, I'm also going to put fresh coriander in it as well at the end. That's that's literally what's going into my kebabs. I really hope they're going to taste nice. So one of the issues that my mum had when I actually moved here was, just actually before I even moved here, was um, my lack of cooking skills. They literally were just non-existent. And that was a concern for my mother. I can imagine, especially if you're moving halfway across the world. She's gonna be like, what are you gonna eat? Um, but I feel like I'm doing all right, I'm quite proud of myself. So we'll see how these turn out. I'm sure my mother's probably sat there like this, going, oh my goodness, she's gonna make kebabs, let's see how they go. Here we go. I'm also gonna put an egg. So I never actually put the egg direct into the dish. I know some people do do that. I personally can't. Um, because it bugs me. So I actually wash the egg and then I break it into a plate. Then I check the egg to make sure like it's clean, there's nothing in it that shouldn't be in it. Um, because there's been some times where I've broken an egg and there's stuff in it that shouldn't be in it. So I like to give the egg the once over before I actually put it into the dish. But that's just the way I do it. You guys might just break it straight in and that's fine. Just do whatever makes you comfortable. It's beginning to sting my eyes and it is a full back workout to grate it yourself. I'm so glad it's just one onion. Woo! Dearie me. Okay, now that I've recovered from the onions, um, it was a really cool tip that my mum gave me because I didn't obviously have a grinder to cut really fine onions. Um, she said, why don't you grate it? So I actually really like that. Other than the fact that I was in pain with my eyes, it's normal, it's fine. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna mix it. Yeah, so I messed up a little bit. I should have put um, the fresh coriander in first and then mixed it. Now I'm gonna have to um, mix it again and put my hands in there again. That's what I should have done. But it's okay. There's no such thing as mistakes. They're all lessons. So I'm going to cover that up, put it in the fridge. That is going to be ready to cook for tomorrow. Hi, and welcome to part two of Cooking Class 101 with myself, Chef Taz. So it is the next morning and this has been sat in the fridge overnight, which is great. Um, I checked it out. So this looks great. 
Um, yesterday it was a little bit soft, it wasn't firm, whereas now it looks like this and it's pretty firm, which is good because it'll be easier to mold into the shape of the kebabs when it's a little bit firmer. So let's get started. Right, the kebabs are ready, it's time to dish up. You know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna FaceTime the mother and I'm gonna show my kebabs. You better answer. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Slalikum. Slalikum. Mum, look. You know how I'm a chef? Oh. I made some kebabs. Wow. Isn't that nice? I'll post it to you. Do you like it? Like me? Nah. Okay, moment of truth. Let's try it. That's actually quite tasty. Um, one thing I did do is obviously when you're putting the spices and you don't know how much you're putting because it's raw meat, you can't exactly taste it. Um, so I had made like a little bit of the mixture and put it in the pan and saw the flavor. The salt was a little bit less, so I've actually added more salt to it and now it's just right. So I hope you enjoyed the Chef Taz video and I think I'll be doing it a lot more because I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Um, I do feel like I've come a long way for those of you that have like joined me on my Chef Taz journey will know from when I was making fish finger sandwiches to now where I'm actually making fresh decent food I'm I'm impressed I'm impressed with myself I'll say it okay so I'm gonna dig in hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and uh, I will see you guys real soon bye <laughs>